All right, we're back in our series on mathematical functions. And today we're going to cover three math functions, which are the round, round up, and round down. So very fortunately, the names of the functions very much give away what the purpose of the function is. So as an example, in column A, we have a series of numbers. Now these numbers only show four decimal points out, but in effect we have about 13 in each cell. And in our case, let's imagine that we want to round the first number, 40.8190, etc., to two decimal points. So in that case, we begin with the equal sign followed by the name of the function round. The first argument is the number itself. So that would be cell A3. And then there's a second argument, which is the number of decimal points you'd like to go out. And in this case, if we want to round to the second place, hit comma and then reference cell B3. Alternatively, if you know you want to simply have two decimal points out, you can type in the number two. But given that we have the cell here, and given that if we wanted to copy formula down, it's easier to reference cells, let's simply reference the cell B3. Click Enter, and what we should expect is a number of 40.82, because the number, the digit following the one is higher, five or higher, at that point we would round up so the number would be 40.82, and that's exactly what we see here. So in this case, using the round function, when you look at the number here, you realize that you do have to round up because the following digit is 5 or greater. So as such, if we were to use the round up function, and this is what I'm going to get at, you, we should expect the same result as the round function because just simply based on the nature of this number and the number of count that we're going out to. So here we go. We follow the same example as we did with the round. This function will round up the number, and in this case, simply because the nine is greater, it doesn't matter, we're rounding up anyways, and in this case, you'll see that the answer is the same as the round. Now the round down does just as it says, Round down this number to the second count, and what we see here is that we should receive a result of 40.81. Great. <clears throat> so what I'm going to do now, let's keep the same count, but let's use a negative number. What I'm going to do is, because I've already got the formula set up, I can copy this formula, and again, you can click Control-C on your keyboard, I will demonstrate just copying here, highlighting the cells from which you want to paste, edit. I can simply press paste or paste special and paste the formula only. Both will yield the same, the same result. So in this point, what we see is when we round, again, the nine is uh, higher than five, so this five bumps up to a six. When you round up, that's exactly what it would do. Five moves up to a six. When you round down, the five stays constant. So with negative numbers, uh, the function operates the same exact way, almost treating it like a, like a positive number. Okay, so what if we were to round to the zero place? Well, what does that mean? Well, that would simply cause the number to round up to, or round up or round down to a whole number. So in this case, if we do the same formula, and in fact, we've already got this set up, so we can simply copy and paste. Again, Control-C, or come up here to the ribbon, Control-C, and at this time, I want to show you, if I just simply do paste, Control-V, because you're not making any changes to the formatting, and it's simply you aren't copying all, you can just click Control-V, or type that in right here, pay, uh, click that in right here. And so at this point, we have whole numbers, because that's what the zero specifies. And what we see is that the round and the round down now match because when you round and you see you look at 2 here, 2 is less than 5, this 67.2144, etc. will round down to 67. So we find that the round function 
will give the same output as the round down function. Round up, on the other hand, will simply look at this number, and even though the 2 should cause the number to round to 67, we round up in this case to 68. Great. Thanks so much for listening on the series, and we'll see you next time.